What is going on, Phantom Army? It's your boy Phantom Stilts, and welcome back once again to Observer. Hope you guys have enjoyed the series up to this point. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel. Without any further ado, we are going to jump right back into this horror experience. Every single installment of this series has been nerve-wracking and anxiety-driven, but I'm ready to jump back into it if you guys are, so let's jump right back into it here. So we're in the apartment of Jack Carnus. That's where we ended last episode. So he's actually over here in just completely ripped apart and we have no idea how we got like he's all checked out and everything if you look you go to our electromagnetic vision here we've done like his entire outline of like what's inside his body and all that stuff so we don't know why that's happened we don't know how we got here and we don't like this place is completely changed from the apartment that we were just in so we're gonna go ahead and search the apartment for some clues See what the hell is going on and what the hell we missed. Personal computer. Jack, I have always considered you a good friend and mentor. While your teaching methods were sometimes harsh, they also helped me improve as a surgeon. Let me therefore extend the same courtesy to you and be brutally frank. There's no way in hell your license could be reinstated. The accusations laid upon you by the council are simply too grave. I used all of my influence to try and get a motion across, but they will simply not budge. Even after all this time, you are still perceived as a pariah. And the patient's family aren't making things easier. Good God, Jack. What were you thinking? To install an untested prototype in a Class A patient. And for what? Even if it would have worked, you would still most likely be facing accusations of malpractice. Whatever your motives were, I'm afraid you need to accept the consequences. Sincerely, Herbert. Deserve all you get. I don't know if this message reaches you, but I hope to Christ it does. It took me a while to get a hold of your current address. We have never actually met, but your actions have forever changed my life. More precisely, they have turned it into a waking nightmare. Thus, I wanted to take this opportunity to show my appreciation. It's been close to two years since the only woman I have ever loved had the inevitable distinction of being placed under your care. And although she has not and will not recover from her her current doctor, an actual doctor, mind you, finally managed to stabilize her enough to make her semi-comfortable. Towards that end, he has also installed a permanent feeding tube with her throat where her throat once was. She used... To have the most beautiful voice, not that you care. I have come to know that sociopaths are not moved by the plight of others, even if it's one of their own making. I was never one to harbor ill will or wish poorly upon others, but when I look at the hollow, deformed husk that was once my wife, I am moved to thoughts and emotions I never thought possible. I have attached a photo of this message to this message. I want you to take a long, hard look and know that you did this. I want it to haunt you for the rest of your days. I want it to remind you that you're nothing but a butcher, a quack, a callous, empty has been. I don't know what the hellhole you scurried off into, but I hope you die there. And when you do, I hope you rot in hell. Jesus. It's showing again. Hey, I'm pretty sure it's showing from under the skin. The thing itches like hell and it gets all messy when I touch it. You have to do something. I can't show up to work like this. Contact me as soon as you can. As soon as you get this message, HN. Complications. I'm getting worried about the courier. She doesn't seem to be taking the pressure well. She's irrational, prone to bouts of hysterics. I can be certain of the infallible nature of my software as far as well as your hardware, but the human element, as always, proves to be the weakest link. I wonder what would be more risky to engage yet another third party or proceed as we are now. A. P.S. Thank you for the painting. I'll put it up right away. I think I have just a spot for it. Okay. So that's interesting. Let's see what it's also on. Let's see what else is on the computer. So no programs. Just the document or just the emails. Okay. That's blood. Credit chips, just like the one in Helen's apartment. Except these aren't empty. 
Okay. That's kind of different. Anything else we can look at in here? What's this? Okay. There's more blood. More blood. One more synchrosine. Let's head out, I guess. Yeah, the doors are locked. Let's look at our status here, see where we gotta go next. Track down the killer. The killer was wounded in the struggle. He's leaving a trail. If I follow it, I might be able to finally get the bastard. More blood here, so we're on the right track. What the French toast? Oh my god! Ooh, snap! Okay, so we're back in the surgery room. Oh my god. Okay, so there's blood here. There's a door labeled 666. Okay. Oh my god. 
Night vision! Holy God. Holy God. There's blood everywhere, bro. What the f like it dude There's nobody there. status do we have like a what the hell oh my god Okay, that's broken. We must have to go downstairs. Six
Oh my god. Hey, PD. I need to ask you some questions. Shh. Keep your voice down. He'll hear you. Who will? The one of many shapes. We don't speak his name. Oh, so it's Voldemort. Fantastic. It's not Voldemort, but okay. Does he live around here? Below. He lurks below. Only comes out to hunt. How do I find him? You don't. He finds you. He always gets his prey. What are you talking about? No, I've already said too much. I won't let him hurt you if you work with me. I can't. I'm sorry. He'll know. How? He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Oh my god. Hey, foggy. In forest. What the hell? Okay, now where the hell am I? That this this game's weird, dude. 
This game's bizarre as hell. Okay, looks like it went upstairs. I'm right on your tail. That's probably not a good thing, dude. I don't know if I'd want to be on the uh, tail of a monster. Cages and shit up here. What the hell, dude? Alright, so I guess we'd fail, follow the trail of blood that led through here. Oh my god! <laughs> 